Good afternoon, St. Charles students. Second grade, I hope you are seeing this. Uh, K through three, you're all welcome. Uh, so today we're doing the third book in our series, and it's called Plate Full of Color. So now I'm sure you can figure out what you think that's going to be about, right? That's correct. You're going to have to have a lot of vegetables on your plate, and they're so tasty and delicious. Okay, still written by Georgia Perez, illustrated by Patrick Rollo and Lisa Fi A. Fifield. Plate full of color. Yesterday we talked about exercise, and I asked you to do some exercises. Second grade was supposed to write in their notebooks. I forgot to say that it's only the second grade that had to write that. But... Let's see here. We're going to get into the start of this story. Rain clouds were starting to roll over the village. Rain that dances looked at the sky and he, as he ran to the center of the village. He was meeting his friends, Thundercloud, Simon, and Little Hummingbird. Simon had just moved into a home not far from the village. Little Hummingbird lived just across the river. It may rain today. We may not have much time to meet the great bird, thought Rain that Dances. Hi, yelled Rain that Dances as he saw his friends. We better hurry before the rain starts, he said. Simon and Little Hummingbird ran behind their friends. I cannot wait to meet Mr. Eagle, said Little Hummingbird. Me too, said Simon. They got closer to the tree stump. They could see Mr. Eagle. They could also see a rabbit with him. We are here, said Rain that Dances. The great bird flapped his wings with joy. The rabbit hopped around the tree stump. We are happy to see you today. Miss Rabbit will tell you many things that you can do to stay strong and healthy, said the eagle. The children quickly sat around the tree stump. They listened as Miss Rabbit began to talk. Have you ever heard your grandparents speak about Mother Earth? Miss Rabbit asked. Little Hummingbird raised her hand like she did in school. My grandmother told me many times that I need to take care of Mother Earth, she said. Your grandmother is a very wise woman, said Miss Rabbit. You have to take care of Mother Earth because she gives us many gifts. The children looked at the rabbit and then at each other. Simon, lifting his hand, asked, What do you mean by gifts? Rain the Dances, Little Hummingbird, and Thundercloud also wanted to know. Miss Rabbit said, Mr. Eagle tells you how you need to play and to have fun and to keep your body moving. You would not be able to do that if you did not have Mother Earth to walk upon. That is a gift. Walking and running on Mother Earth helps keep your spirit strong. Then the rabbit hopped over to a flower that was growing by the children. You see this flower? She said. The children nodded their heads. This flower is also a gift from Mother Earth. She grows flowers of many colors for you to enjoy. What else does she give you, Miss Rabbit asked. The children looked around and saw trees and grass... I guess she gives us things that grow, said Rain the Dances. Rabbit jumped and said, You are right, Rain the Dances. 
She also gives us food to eat and water that helps the food to grow. I want to tell you about these foods now. What do you think I eat? asked Miss Rabbit. Rain the Dancer said, I know, you eat grass. Simon smiled and said, You eat carrots. I've seen you in my grandmother's garden eating the carrots. Little Hummingbird added, I've seen you in the garden too. The rabbit laughed and said, I guess I have eaten from many gardens in the village. I eat from gardens because I know I, because I want to stay healthy. Also, I like what grows in the gardens. Thundercloud made a face and said, I will not eat things from the garden. The Those are for rabbits. Is Thundercloud being smart about this? I don't know. Miss Rabbit quickly hopped around and then stopped. She said, The fruits and vegetables that grow in the gardens are food for you to eat, too. They are very good for all of us. Let's think of what is in the garden, Miss Rabbit said. What is growing there? The children thought for a short time. They said, carrots, green beans, squash, cucumbers, pumpkins, corn, and watermelons. You are right, and I have eaten many of these, replied Miss Rabbit. And what else have you seen growing? We have... We have apple trees in our yard, said Little Hummingbird. Simon patted his stomach and said, My grandmother has wild strawberries and grapes growing in her yard. Mother Earth grows these fruits and vegetables for us to eat. Have you eaten many of these fruits and vegetables? Miss Rabbit asked. I have, said Little Hummingbird. Me too. Me too, especially the strawberries, laughed Simon. I like to eat corn, said Rain that dances. Thundercloud did not say a word. Miss Rabbit and Mr. Eagle looked at Thundercloud and asked, You do not eat any of these things? With his head down, Thundercloud said in a whisper, I eat some fruits, but... I do not like vegetables, and I do not eat vegetables that grow in the garden. My mom gets vegetables from the store. Miss Rabbit hopped over to Thundercloud and said, You can get vegetables from the store, but first, the vegetables have to grow in someone's garden. Just as Mother Earth gives us flowers of many colors, she also gives us fruits and vegetables of many colors. Carrots are orange, squash is green or yellow, tomatoes, apples, and strawberries are red, grapes and plums are purple, green beans are green, cucumbers are green, pumpkins are orange. Why are we talking about fruits and vegetables anyway? Thundercloud asked. The rabbit answered, Because it is important that growing children eat enough fruits and vegetables to grow very strong. You told us that you do not like vegetables. Have you ever tasted vegetables? Miss Rabbit asked Thundercloud. No, I don't think they taste good. I just like the other food my mom makes, Thundercloud said. 
The rabbit placed her front paw on the boy's lap. She said, You will never know how they taste unless you taste them to find out. Can I ask you to take one bite of a vegetable to taste it? asked Miss Rabbit. Oh, okay, said Thundercloud. I will try. I, I want to be healthy like my friends. Pick out, ve <clears throat> pick out vegetables of different colors and try one at a time. You may find some that you like. After all, different colors have different tastes. Does corn taste like carrots? asked Miss Rabbit. No, the children answered. Eating all kinds of fruits and vegetables is good for all of us, said Miss Rabbit. But how can we eat that many fruits and vegetables every day? asked Rain in the Dances. Simon, Thundercloud, and Little Hummingbird also wanted to know. The rabbit answered, You can eat fruits at breakfast and fruits and vegetables at lunchtime. You can have a fruit or vegetable for a snack, and you can have them for supper. Think of making your plate full of color. It will get easy when you do it for a while. Every time you eat, a, every time you eat can be a time to eat a fruit or a vegetable. Rain the Dances jumped up and said, You are right. I like to eat all the time. For a snack, I can eat some strawberries instead of a cookie. Simon said, I can eat sliced cucumbers instead of potato chips. <clears throat> Little Hummingbird said, I can eat grapes or a plum instead of candy. Thundercloud stayed sitting down and did not say a word. Mr. Eagle, Miss Rabbit, and the children looked at him. They asked, What can you do to eat a vegetable, Thundercloud? Thundercloud slowly stood up. He kicked the dirt and smiled. I guess I can try to eat some carrot sticks. Yeah, we can do it, called the children as they danced around Mr. Eagle and Miss Rabbit. Yes, you can. Now, you better start for home before the rain... Oops. <clears throat> yes, you can. Now, you better start for home before the rain begins to fall. Come back tomorrow, and I will tell you more ways to stay healthy and strong, said the eagle. Goodbye, and thank you, Mr. Eagle and Miss Rabbit. We will be here tomorrow, said the children as they left for home. Join us as we learn about being healthy and strong in Tricky Treats. Tomorrow is going to be the last book in this series and just as a preview we have somebody else who's going to talk to the children coyote do you think he's going to have some good things to say we'll find out tomorrow as we finish this series try to do your best to eat fruits and vegetables when you can. Do your best to get a lot of exercise and move around. Because that's what's going to keep you healthy. And try to remind others, you know, to maybe choose a healthy snack. Also, try not to sit around playing video games all day. Now, Mr. Holman said that every day this week. Is that because he thinks that maybe you might be spending too much time inside? Maybe. 
I don't know about uh, I don't know about where everybody is, but I do know that it's supposed to be pretty rainy and windy tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow's not an outside exercise day, but try to do your best for this one. Second graders, I want you to open your big notebook. And I want you to tell me what vegetables you like best, okay? Now, Mr. Holman's going to start off by giving an example of some of the things he likes. Mr. Holman likes carrots, corn on the cob, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts. What do you like? Write it down in your big notebook. And have a very good day, everyone. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay strong, second grade, and all the other grades watching. Have a very good day, and I'll be back tomorrow to finish the series. And I hope that this has been a good week for everyone. Thank you very much.